Hello everyone and welcome to another Toon Kind at 12 FPS. Uh, this one is titled Pinning the Blame. Uh, I am Wick and I'm joined by the lovely... Oatmeal, thank you. Uh, and I will be playing the professor. Yay! And I'll be playing somebody. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. <clears throat> but... But, uh, today, um, Professor, uh, what's up? How's it hanging? What you doing? Um, gosh, uh, I mean, uh, let's see, uh, today, I, I think, um, uh, honestly, I think he might be just sort of in the middle of, uh, general information gathering. He might be going, like, to or from the library, uh, or something, um, because there's too many things that he doesn't know about, uh, especially that are tune specific that he needs to, especially now. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that yeah. there's one living uh. in his house. <laughs> <laughs> there's a tune loose in his house. Uh. But yeah, uh, just as usual, he's just on the streets of Toontown. Uh, all right. Would you uh, like to make a perception check to Absolutely. start us off? Absolutely. Absolutely. Man, I just realized it, my dice are going to be probably so loud in this recording. All right. Um, it's okay. 14. I mean, I enjoy dice sounds. Okay, uh, cool. That's a 14. A 14. Good. Okay. So, it's a pretty nice day today. Um, good for walking. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you're walking down the uh, the sidewalk, uh, you happen to notice, uh, amidst all the hubbub of the day, uh, that there's a little butterfly flitting around. And mm. this reminds you of something. Huh. Yeah, you should probably talk to that one person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um... Uh, oh, this is an important question. Um, has, yes? uh, has Arata, uh, Oh, yeah, I forgot to clear that before, uh, yeah. before right I, now. I'm good either um, way. But I will but... say for recording, um, mm -hmm. yes, Arata has imparted information to the <sighs> professor because he is trying his best. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, then, yeah. Don't gun emoji me, Avi. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, then, yeah, he's, uh, well, uh, Annie is probably back at the inn, so I think he's going to, uh, actually, I think he's gonna take the bus there. <laughs> um, but, uh, because, honestly, that, that is kind of long to walk, uh, and, um, but before he does that, he, he is going to make sure he has with him um, and honestly, he might just have these in his pockets because he's the kind of person to just carry everything with him. But, um, uh, both the piece of the music box, uh, that, uh, Mitmat, uh, gave him and also, um, uh, what was the other thing? The thing that Amaryllis, uh, gave him to give to, um, Annie. Yes. All the way back in, uh, Repairations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't think I haven't forgotten. <laughs> um, but, uh, right. So, you know, you hurry along and you get to uh, the bus stop because bus, mm -hmm. transportation, good. Uh, yeah. Um, and, hey, what luck. The bus is just pulling up. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to... Uh, uh, hop on as uh, the driver opens the uh, the yeah. bus door. Yeah, he'll do that. Neat. Uh, and as you uh, step onto the bus, the bus driver turns to you uh, and says, uh, "Where to?" Uh, Knickknack Town. Ah, okay. That's gonna be. Uh... And they <laughs> they 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 kind of pointedly look at like a sign that has like the fare prices on it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think he'll uh, dig out whatever it is and hand it over. 
Me. All right, take a seat. All right. Uh, he will do that. Is it like crowded in here or? Um, even though it's uh, it's probably around the middle of the afternoon, mm-hmm. or maybe it's closer to midday. I always say that. You ah, do. midday. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, sometimes you just like when it's noon <laughs> and you can eat lunch and do things. Yeah, that's all right. But um, uh, perhaps it's like, I don't know, two o'clock. Uh, the point is, even though it's around this time, uh, there aren't too many people on the bus. There's just uh, eh, probably about maybe like four different oh. people. All right, yeah. If it's uh, not, if, it, if there are of like... Uh, multiple available seats, then yeah, he'll go ahead and sit down. Uh, as you make your way through the bus to sit in your preferred seat, uh, would you like to make an intelligence check with advantage? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, that's bad. And let's see if this is better. I'm glad I gave advantage. Okay, I got a four and a nine. Still Uh, not fantastic. Ah, well. Hmm. You know, that trap. I'll explain in a moment. Uh Uh, (laughs) So, you you do notice a couple people on the bus. Um, You don't really recognize any of them. There's like a couple tunes. There is, uh, there's, like, one elf or something. Mm-hmm. There's another one, but you can only kind of see their legs. They might be a little shorter. Um, mm-hmm. But you go and you, uh, you take your seat. You, like, sit by the window. Oh, absolutely. Ah, okay. Yeah, he'll take um, a window seat, and, uh, honestly, mostly, he, uh, is inclined to, unless something is happening... Uh, look out the window most of the time. Ah, so you're pretty set to look out of the window. And you can see the colorful array of, uh, the buildings in Toontown. The people walking about. Um, but as we get underway, um, you, uh, you feel someone flop into the seat beside you. He's gonna look and see who that is. Um... And it is uh, a rather familiar face. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you you now kind of piece together that the uh, the reason you only saw someone's legs uh, was because this one is smaller. Uh, they're a child. This is a child. Uh, mm-hmm. um, and it looks like that this is Margaret. <laughs> Margaret. Professor. Hello. Um. Hi. I haven't. I haven't seen you. No, it's been a while, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. And uh, she she nods emphatically and and gives a just a wide grin. Uh. Mm-hmm. Um. What? Why? Why are you taking the bus? Um. Because it's a rather long walk to Knickknack Town. You. Going to Nick Nack too? Yes. Where are you headed? Um, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm heading, I'm heading to the, the inn. Oh, really? So am I. Wait, how do you know about the inn? Uh, Snap told me. They told me to go. Your friend? Uh huh. And uh, she actually turns to look at the space beside her, but you don't really see anything right now. Oh, boy, howdy. Uh, <laughs> um, I think, like, there have been enough people, like, having stuff going on that he's just going to assume that he knows what's going on here. Um, uh... He's not going to do his, like, trick, because he doesn't think it's necessary. Um, but, uh, gosh, um, (laughs) uh, I think 
what he's going to do is, um, uh, is, uh, he's going to ask, uh, in quarry, uh, he's going to ask, um, uh, why go to the inn? Um, uh, <clears throat> uh, she pauses and turns to you, uh, looks kind of confused. Mm -hmm. What did you say? Uh, and he'll switch to common. Oh, you don't, um, know that one? What, which one's that? Oh, um, it's called Quarry. Well, Quarry? Hmm. No, I don't know that one. I see. Uh, good grief. Uh, <laughs> ah, no, I, don't like, I don't like that at all. Uh, I like how you think you got it figured and then it's like, oops. <laughs> yeah, dang it. Um, uh, geez. Um, he says, um, uh, say, what, what's your friend look like? Um, you mean Snap? Mm-hmm. Snap. You. Um, she turns to look at the space beside her mm -hmm. and then turns back. You, you can't see them? Well, not right now. It's okay. Um, mom and dad told me that, um, a lot of people can't see them because, because they're called it, Im imaginary. Mm -hmm. uh, and she kind of rocks back and forth a little in her seat. Yeah, but it's okay. They, they just told me that, that I can't, I don't, I shouldn't really talk about them too much, but it's only because other people might find it weird. Oh, I don't think it's weird. Hmm. But, um... And she looks again from the space to you. Um, they're about... I think they're, they're just as tall as you. Maybe shorter. Mm-hmm. They're really fun. They've got, they've got a cape. And, and then she stops, turns again to the space. Mm-hmm. Oh, um... Snap says I shouldn't say it anymore. Oh. Okay. Maybe they're... Maybe they're um, embarrassed? I don't know. Hmm. That's... That's alright. Um... Uh, can you, um... Uh... Uh, Wick, can you remind me what the name of, um... Uh... Gilby's uh, quarry is. Oh, um, <clears throat> that one's a uh, Galbaroth. Galbaroth. Um, all right. Uh, the professor asks, um, has your friend Snap heard of anyone named Galbaroth? Um, I don't know. Let me ask. Um, do you know? And <laughs> she, now she's just talking to the space next to her. Uh huh. There's uh, silence for a moment. And then, um, Snap says they don't know. I see. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Sorry. <laughs> Frustrated sigh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, uh, well, um, uh, He sort of, he just shrugs and says, well, all right. Um, do you, um, do you have any particular reason to, uh, to, to go to the inn? Um, uh, Snap told me to. Oh, but I mean, but why? Um, cause, cause, cause I, um, um, they said I, I, I could find something there. 
Oh, what kind of something? Uh, um, what was it? What was it? Um, it, it's a book. A book? Mm-hmm. Huh. Um, why, why do you need a book? There is the library, you know. Uh, it's a special book. Oh. What is it a book about? Um. Um, <clears throat> she uh, turns to the space next to her. Um, they, they say it's important. Hmm. Do you know what it's... Uh, and oh. No, go ahead. Uh, he was going to say, uh, do you know what it's important for? Um. Uh. And she kind of listens for a moment. Um, it's a secret. Ah. Um, but as, uh, as she says that, it looks like you are getting to, uh, as, as you two were talking, uh, it has shifted from Toontown to Knickknack Town. Mm -hmm. And it looks like that you are almost to where you need to go. It's one of the farthest most bus stops because it's kind of more on the outskirts. But yeah, you'll just have to walk just a little bit to the rest of the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, we're almost there. Yes. Hmm. Would you like help looking for this book? Uh, she turns to the space and then turns to you. Um, the snap says they could help, but, but you could help too, though you might need help. I, oh? I don't know. Uh, hmm. All right. That's not ominous at all. It uh, isn't. The bus has now stopped. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, gosh. Um, I think, uh, the, yeah, the, the professor is going to, uh, disembark from the bus and, you know, just sort of like let, um, um, Margaret go first. Uh, and um, uh, she yeah she does uh she does go first mm -hmm. waves to the bus driver who gives a little wave too <laughs> uh, and she does like the little thing where you jump down from like <laughs> from the steps yeah um but she waits for you and mm -hmm. uh as you uh get off the bus mm -hmm. she kind of holds out a hand a little like you yeah. gotta hold hands <laughs> yeah he'll hold her hand yeah so now the two of you are walking hand in hand. Mm -hmm. uh. And before they get there, he, he is going to say, um, uh, he says, um, Margaret, I have reason to, um, I have reason to believe that there might be, uh, somebody very dangerous in this area. So please be careful. Oh, don't worry. Snap will protect me. And she gives another smile. All right. <laughs> There's not much you can say to that. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, they keep going. Um, and, you know, the two of you are just walking along. A, a, I don't know. It's like a, maybe it's a, a dirt path. Mm. Um, it's not much farther now. But uh, as you, as the two of you as the two of you approach, uh, things feel a little different, a little tense. You're not quite sure what, Oof. but there's something that's going on and you're not quite sure. Hmm. Uh, can I roll perception or investigation or something? Uh, hmm. <clears throat> Uh, like, uh, right now I think it's just a vibe. I don't know if he can, if he can, uh, <laughs> vibe check, uh, determine where it's coming from. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know what? Yeah, you can, you can roll, uh, you can roll perception. I'll have Margaret roll perception too. 
Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh no. Oh no? <laughs> um, that's a five. Oh, meanwhile, um, Margaret with a 14. What? Uh, well, at least somebody's paying attention. <laughs> um, uh, as as the two of you uh, grow closer to the uh, the buildings, you recognize them. Um, I mean, you, you can't help but uh, but you just kind of feel a, a small chill. You're not really sure. It's probably just the weather or whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you're distracted by the river, which is just, you know, doing its thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is pretty close by, though. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, uh, Margaret goes, Oh, wait, here, there, there. And uh, she's pointing now. Oh, um, what is it? There uh, seems to be something in the uh, tall grass. <laughs> Oh, that is nearby. Good grief. Um, a Pokemon? Um, she, she pulls on your hand to, to go. To the... Uh-huh. I, I mean, he'll he'll follow. He He's, uh... Uh, in fact, I think he's, uh, like, d like, more than keeping pace because, uh, he wants to be able to step in front of this kid if he has to. Um, and, you know, the two of you get uh get there mm -hmm. and she she kind of pushes a little through the grass um uh crouches down and picks something up uh when she stands up straight mm -hmm. uh you notice that it's a small book with a lock on it oh What's this snap snap told me it was this one. Oh, well there you go sure enough um but it looks like it's locked. Hmm. Can I see that? I might be able to open it. Um, okay. And <laughs> she just hands over the book. Alright. Um, he is going to try to open it. <laughs> um, let's see, I don't, uh... Uh... He has... Thieves tools, but I don't know. Oh, if... you do have thieves tools. Yeah, but I don't know if he's proficient. Um, see, it's uh. it it sits under my proficiencies and languages, but it but when I go to my features and traits, it's not listed under my proficiencies. Ah. So like, I'm uh, not sure if if it's a if that if that's a yes or a no. Um. I don't remember when I made him. <laughs> like, <laughs> if that was something he had. Uh, I guess... Hmm. I'm okay with him not being proficient. Uh, yeah. Um, let me see. What's your dex modifier? Because I think, isn't it your dex and your proficiency? Oh, my dex mod is zero. Great. Uh, <laughs> what's your proficiency modifier? My proficiency mod is... Oh, it's a plus three. You know what? Just do a d20 plus 3. Alright, alright. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> it's like, what's your next? Zero. Me. Uh, understandable. <laughs> alright, let's see. That's a... 9 plus 3, 12. Uh, yeah. I mean, as you go to uh, unlock this, you realize it's kind of like one of those uh, cheap, flimsy locks <laughs> that you put on, like, diaries and stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So it's actually pretty easy to just click open um uh but uh as you do so uh you want to make another perception check <laughs> yes <laughs> 13 13 okay um as you are uh picking open this lock mm -hmm. you see something moving in the tall grass and it is coming towards the two of you yeah he's gonna switch his attention to that um, uh, and I, I think he's gonna do what he planned and step between it and uh, Margaret. Uh, as uh, you do so, the the uh, the moving figure stops uh, close to in front of you. I don't think you should open that. Um, they kind of go on tiptoe, 
and you realize that this is also Margaret? What? What? Um, uh, the, the Margaret from the bus uh, peeks behind you. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, Mighty! Hi! I didn't know you were here. Yeah, I was just here because cause I knew you were going to be here. No, you really shouldn't be. Why not? Uh, something's happening. Uh, so now you have two Margarets here. Uh. Oh, good goodness gracious. <laughs> um, um, but for clarity's sake, yeah. the one that you have arrived with, mm-hmm. uh, you can call her Maggie. Uh-huh. The one that has just appeared in the grass, uh, that one is Margie. So you have two different nicknames for them. <laughs> okay. Um, Interesting. Uh, but Maggie steps to uh, the side of you. Mm-hmm. Um, this is Mighty. She looks just like me. <laughs> yes, I I see that. Are you two twins? And uh, Margie not. We share eyes similar. <laughs> huh. Yes. Um, but you got the, the book open? Uh, yes. Why shouldn't I open it? Well, uh, Margie speaks up. It looks kind of like a diary. And th- that's that's not something you, you've got, got to read, right? Oh, um... Um... He... Uh... He, t- he 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 just sort of like tilts his head and nods like that's a good point um and uh does it does it look like a like i mean from the lock but like d- does it look like a diary from the outside i mean uh well the outside cover it's like a purplish pink and it's got little butterfly patterns on it uh mm uh, it doesn't like say diary on it. Like that would be a no. It's way. it's completely plain. <laughs> Got it. Okay, I had to check. Um. Um. Uh. He he does still uh hold it closed. Um. And he says, "Well, you know, you're right, but there are some circumstances, um, in which, um." in which sometimes a breach of privacy can uh, can be good, can uh, help somebody. If, if you want to read it... Uh, Maggie speaks up. Uh, why don't we go inside to read it? No, Maggie, we shouldn't go inside. Um, I don't know what's going on, but it doesn't sound... Good. There's a lot of... a lot of... crashing sounds. Um, oh, that, that doesn't sound good. You two definitely shouldn't go in there. Um, remember, I I mentioned that there might be somebody dangerous around. If they're around, they're probably in there. Um, to uh, when people have tried to to call the inn, um, nobody could get an answer. And not because it was like nobody was there, but it seemed that the phone wasn't working. Like somebody might have messed with it. Threads it. Oh, like, like the, like the theater, the, the telephone? I didn't know that a phone was. Oh, yes, yes. You remember the, the line was, the line was cut. Hmm. Um, so... What do we do? Maggie turns to Margie, who just kind of looks uh, a little puzzled. Um, I don't really know. I think maybe... Um, I'm a little scared. You, you shouldn't... Hmm. You shouldn't come to the inn. Um, maybe, uh... We could find a place for you, uh, a sort of, 
a, a safer place for you to hide. Um, safe. Oh, um, what about in the, the, the big dirt hole? The what now? Maggie <laughs> turns and smiles. Yeah, there's there's a hole of dirt um, that's, that's, that's behind the, the theater. And it's, uh, it's mm. got a stone um, uh, next to it. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Yes. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure if that's a good idea, actually, because, um... I'm well, it looks like it could fit us. Well, maybe Marty and me. Yeah, but you might get, um, stuck, uh, and, um, uh, I'll just tell you now, that hole was, uh, used, um, as a grave. Um, you might not want to be in there, since the last thing that was in there was... A dead person. A, a green? Yes. Dead? Yes. What? What's dead? Oh, good. Is that a, a kind of person? Um, it's more of a state of being, like awake or asleep. Except, um, it means that, um, it's like being that asleep, except it means that they'll never be awake ever again. Uh, Maggie stops and just looks for a moment and then goes but that's, that's kind of fun wouldn't you just be dreaming all the time no no it's not like that Margie walks up and stands next to her no no when when you're asleep you can't run around and have fun with your friends anymore so it's I don't think oh uh, she's right. right that's not really that Yes, she's right. Um, and uh, as a matter of fact, I, I'm i pretty sure uh, you wouldn't be able to dream um, once you're dead. Barring some maybe very special circumstances, but most people, uh, nope, there's just nothing going on. Very boring. That does sound boring. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Maggie says. <laughs> so maybe not. Maybe let's not go in the death hole. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this... <laughs> the death hole. <laughs> um, <I'm> <laughs> I think we can find a better place than that. <laughs> um. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'm just thinking of the death. <laughs> I just see it and like it's just a shot of like an empty grave, but you've got like death hole printed, but like in in like death metal text, like <laughs> <laughs> death hole. <laughs> uh, but um, <laughs> but um, Maggie goes. Uh, then why don't we just go in the that one. And uh, she points to the theater itself. <laughs> he, I think he, he he sort of laughs exasperatedly like that and just and just shakes his head um, uh, and says um, I'm uh, your instincts today are um, way off. Um that's also dangerous. The last time I was in there, um, uh, I would say it'd be fair, uh, a fair judgment that several people almost died. Um, several people got very, very hurt in that, uh, in that building. So maybe, maybe a different building. Why there's, is that why there's a death hole behind it? <laughs> um, uh, no, it's, um... Uh, that, no, that was something. I mean, that makes sense, right? And uh, Maggie turns to Margie. It does. Um, it was a different. Th it was a different event. But no, no, Maggie. I think if 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 it if there are people that would die in the theater, they would have more holes than that. Oh, yeah. I, I guess you said more people than just one. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, God, can I, can I roll perception to find these kids, like, a 
building that's not <laughs> one of those to <laughs> to, to hang out in because uh, if everything else looks like looks like it's awful then like if i mean uh, there is one other building <laughs> i mean the end which you haven't been to uh what what else is there yes. So, um, so there is the, the inn itself, and next to it is the theater. But there is a third, farther off building, which is like a big storage shed, oh, if yeah. you will. It's a, it's got a mill uh, attached to it. So, mm. huh? Well, it's close by, uh, and it looks like it's at least structurally sound. How about that third building over there? And he'll he'll point to it. Um, and the two of them look, and um, uh, they both they they both look at the building, and then they look at each other, and then they look back at the building. Uh, it seems nice, but I'm not very sure. Um, what do you think, Snap? And uh, Maggie turns to the space next to them. Mm -hmm. After a moment. Um, Snap says that that the top part is okay, but the other parts aren't. Oh. Oh, hmm. Well, um, well, then, uh, I think I'll, uh, escort you over there, uh, into the top part, and, uh, I'll ask that you stay there and not go in the bottom part. And they both go, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, ah. So I'm thinking the three of you <laughs> uh -huh. um, uh, kind of trot over to this uh, shed, if you will. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't call it a shed. It's pretty big. But, it's like um, a warehouse? Yeah, it's kind of more of a warehouse, but not like super big. Maybe, uh, like, a, maybe like a barn then. I guess that's the closest approximation. It's... Well, maybe it is closer to a warehouse. It's just not as, uh, I guess, technologically oh, I advanced. Mean, I don't know. It, it uh, can just it can just be a it can just be a, a just a concrete floor and completely empty. Uh, besides, uh, so yeah. But uh, <laughs> for Bessie, mm. I won't make you do a, a perception check for it. Mm -hmm. um, you kind of look around and then go around some more. Uh, and you realize there is no front door to this. How are you supposed to get in? Um, I think it is that. And Margie points to this rather large ladder that you can prop onto the uh, the building. Mm. And as you look and you follow the ladder up, you realize that, yeah, there seems to be a hatch on the roof. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, that is where he plans to go. So he will <laughs> uh, make sure the ladder is as secure as it can be. Um, and then, uh, oh, man. I, I, oh, gosh. <laughs> how, uh, how far up is it? It's probably like... At least thirty feet oh, or more. Good grief. <laughs> um all right. Uh he says I'm not going to make you climb that and uh I'd like to check it out first anyway, so um could I give you a piggyback ride up there? Uh Maggie's uh, eyes widen. Like like my dad does? Sure. Uh, and she kind of holds her hands up, does like the little grabby hands, like, yeah. Mm. All right. I have to uh, take off for one second to uh, let my cat out. Oh, uh, cat. I will... It's cat time. <laughs> yeah. I will be back in like literally five seconds. Okay. Bye. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm back. Oh, and you're back. <laughs> well, you did say. 
Um, yeah, so he, he so, will, uh, I mean, he he's probably, oh God, he's going to do one at a time. That's not ideal either, but I mean, I don't think he can carry two of them at once. Um, and, uh, but Margie not. Yeah, Maggie, you get on on the pro- the professor's back, uh, and I'll just climb up to you. Oh, are you sure that'll be all right? Yeah, I'm good at climbing. Oh, okay. I'm good at climbing too, Maggie says. I I can climb trees. Yeah, but this is a ladder. It's different. Um, I I guess. It's a little different. It, I, if there were two of me, I would bring both of you up. But unfortunately, there's only one of me. So. So, uh, Maggie is totally fine getting onto your back. Uh. All right. I, he's he's gonna go up the. Um. um. Actually, no. He's gonna. Um. Um. Actually. Um, Margie, just in case you fall, uh, would you go up before me? Um, and she actually does, like, a little bit of a pout. I'm not gonna fall, but... But just in case, we don't know, we don't know, there might be, there might be something wrong with the ladder, just in case. Uh, she gives, like, a little sigh. Okay. (laughs) Um, so she is going to start up the ladder. Mm Mm-hmm. Um... So, do you think we should roll acrobatics or athletics for it? Um, climbing is usually, uh, athletics. Okay, um, so we'll do athletics. And anyway, that's a much higher mod for me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um. Alright, so Margie's gonna start up the ladder. That's an 11. Okay, uh, I got a 13. 13, yes. Uh, 13, uh... 13 is good. Um, mm-hmm. With the 11, um, Margie does uh, make it up like about a third. Uh, at some point, though, uh, her shoe does slip a little. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, she doesn't like fall onto either of you, but she just kind of like, uh, she, she kind of startled. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. oh darn shoes. And uh, I guess the, uh, the ladder is a little slick, mm-hmm. but... Um, with, with enough, uh, with enough, uh, with enough care, you're able to, the, the three of you are able to get to the, uh, to the, the top of the ladder. Nice. Um, and yeah, you guys are now on the roof of this place. Uh, all right. Uh, can they open the hatch? Uh, yes, there's, uh, I have to remember, wait, was there a lock? I don't think there was a lock. Yeah, no, there wasn't a lock. All right, so... Mm-hmm. <laughs> me trying to remember from a previous thing. All right. Uh, no, but you open up the hatch, mm-hmm. and there's, like, a small ladder on the inside so you can climb down. Mm-hmm. Uh, I won't make you roll for that. It's short enough. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. So now the three of you get in here, and it's rather dark. Not completely dark, but it's rather dim. Mm-hmm. Uh, hmm... Uh, I think, uh, can, um, can you two see in the dark at all? Uh, me looking at the, (laughs) hold on a second. Um, uh, Maggie, uh, shakes, uh, shakes her head. Can't I see? And, uh, Margie goes, I can't see either. Okay. Uh, Professor uh, is going to cast light on his hat yet again. Um, a- as you do. Uh, on, I'm going to roll something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I probably should have. Gosh, darn it! You had one job. Anyway, Ooh, I probably should have rolled perception that before that, but I forgot. So no, this is perception, <laughs> but for one of the the Margarets. Uh, oh, uh, but they they look at your hat, uh, 
with R. Mm-hmm. Ah. Actually, I might as well roll for the other one, too. Uh, that one seems a little better, but not by much. Mm-hmm. You can make your hat glow? Yes. You gotta teach me. And Maggie <laughs> it's just hopping a little up and down, like, uh, excited. Yes, maybe another time. Um, what can he see in here? Should I roll? Uh, yes, you can do it with advantage, though, because you have, uh, Light. you have your glowing hat to help you out. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, first one. Oh, I got the same both times. All right, so... Oh, jeez. Seven, 17 it is. Oh, a 17, though. Nice. Yeah. Uh... You notice that this is mostly made up of walkways, and you have ladders that go down to each floor. Mm. Um, and as you uh, look around at the walls uh, beside you, you realize that these uh, almost all have kegs in them. Uh. Uh, now things are starting to make sense. However, mm. <laughs> as you go over to the balcony of the walkways here, and you peer over, uh, you you have a realization why maybe that snaps at the top part and not the bottom part. Because mm -hmm. uh, as you look over the edge, you see a couple of figures uh, on the farther down floors, but they're not humanoid. Uh... They appear to be uh, slimes of some sort. What the heck? <laughs> Nowhere is safe in this place. Uh, oh, good grief. But it doesn't seem like they can climb ladders. Uh, and also, there are none on this top floor, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. Well, um... Gosh. Uh, he, uh... <laughs> uh... He's he's going to uh, uh, I think sort of like uh, kneel near the edge um, and uh, uh, say to um, Maggie and Margie uh, quietly. He says, "All right, well, Snap was correct. We shouldn't we shouldn't go. Well, you two shouldn't go down to the bottom. There seem to be." I think some slimes down there, um, and they, uh, they, they, they can, they can be, uh, they can be violent. They can be harm harmful. So I don't want you, you to, to go down there. I would like you to stay up here. Um, uh, <laughs> Maggie goes, oh, but they look so squishy. Yeah, but those are ochre jellies. They're not, they're not very nice. Not like the, not like gelatin, mm. gelat cubes. Those are bad too. Uh, cube. <laughs> She's just thinking about a cube now. Uh. <laughs> um. Oh, good grief. Um. Well, if there doesn't seem to be a, uh, do they look like they're moving around? Uh, they are slowly moving about. Hmm. Hmm. Man. I don't like that at all. Um. <laughs> I don't trust like that. <laughs> oh, good grief. Um. He, um. Oh, I have a question for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and I'll carry your perception check over. Uh -huh. uh, have you uh, left the hatch open on the roof? Yeah, probably. All right. You hear a voice from outside. Uh -huh. What's going on in there? Is everyone okay? Who's in there? Can, can the professor identify who that is by voice? <laughs> yes, you can. That's Pappy. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Um, all right, he's going to uh, he's going to turn and um, um, uh, uh, to uh, to the girls. He's going to say, "All right, stay put. Uh, keep keep an eye on." Keep an eye on the jellies. If if they start to try to climb the walls, I know some can do that. If they if they if they start coming up here, I want you to to climb up and get out of this building um, as fast as you can with, with while being careful. Okay. Uh, and both of the girls nod. All right. Now, I don't trust this person, so. I'm going to I'm going to ask you to be quiet so that he doesn't know you're here. But but why don't you trust them? Uh Maggie says. I think he might be a liar. A liar. That that's not good. And she kind of makes a frowny face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um and I, he might, he might be the region. He might, uh, in fact, be the reason that uh, the jellies are in here. So uh, that's also not good. But I don't know that for sure. So I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go over to see what he wants. Okay. Okay. And uh, they both seem to just kind of stay where they are. Yeah. He'll actually. He's gonna. Um, uh, let me see. What, what did he? I have one idea, but he could also, um, ah, um, he's going to hand them, um, uh, one of them a yo-yo and the other one, uh, the sort of fancy, um, hourglass that he has to just sort of keep them occupied, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> um, wait, so which have you given to which? Um, uh, Maggie, uh... Maggie gets um, the yo-yo, and Margie gets the hourglass. Now, tell me again how that hourglass is. Oh, um, it's just sort of, uh, let's say, um, uh, the size of maybe like um, a soda can, um, you know, from top to bottom. Uh, and also in probably width, uh, and it's just sort of um, the edges of the um, the metal around the the top and bottom, and sort of the like um, uh, the you know it, it's got to have like columns to hold the two pieces to part uh, with yeah, the glass I get in the that. middle. Yeah, 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 you know the shape. But like um, they're just kind of they've just just kind of got these um, shiny. Uh, uh, sort of like metal little carved designs in them. Uh, it, what kind of metal? Uh, um, hmm. Uh, As my brain, I'm like, is it like gold or silver color? You know, like oh, oh, it's probably gold in color with with maybe some like uh, staining for like contrast. Okay, but it's probably not gold itself because that'd be too expensive. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. It's probably some sort of, uh, I don't know, bronze alloy or something. Okay. I don't know. All right. No, I was just curious. I was like, <laughs> meanwhile, I like have like a perfect visual of the yo-yo, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> um, if, if that's, uh. If that's all, he he's going to go. He's gonna go uh, up the short ladder and poke his head out. Oh, and and when uh, when you do, you do see uh, Pappy all the way at the bottom mm -hmm. of the shed. Uh huh. Uh, um, Professor, is that you? Hello. And he kind of squints. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh. What are, you, what are you doing up there? Sightseeing. 
Uh, I, I think you can see the sights from down here. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. I mean, <laughs> he kind of blinks a couple times. <laughs> I don't know if it's exactly safe for you to be uh, uh, wandering around in there. Hmm. <laughs> Because of the jellies? I like, he nods. Yes, because of the, uh, wait, uh. <laughs> um. Uh. <laughs> he kind of sweats for a moment. Why would you keep something uh, like that so close to the inn? Uh, they, they work at keeping the pests away. <sighs> Man, I mean, you could just have a cat. Well... Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> They're a little less, um... Oh, I don't know. Uh... Person eating? Well, usually I'm the only one going in the shed. What, and you're not a person? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Me. Uh... <wait. laughs> uh. And if we're gonna talk, do you want me to come up there or you to come down here? Oh, I'll come down. <laughs> <laughs> and he will do he so. He doesn't say it in like an irritated way. He just says it in a, man, I don't feel like yelling at my voice up there. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, the professor will come down and he'll probably like climb most of the way and then um, uh, slide the last like uh, eight feet or so. <laughs> Uh, I won't make you roll because we're gonna... We're, we're doing stuff. Let's go. <laughs> uh -huh. um, plus, it's a lot easier when you don't have a four-year-old child on your back. Uh, yeah. So, um, well, you get to the bottom. And, mm -hmm. uh, and Pappy goes, uh, I mean, I, I was just rather surprised that you didn't call before uh, showing up. Oh, um, we did try to call twice. And, uh, it seems as if your line may have been cut. Uh, he opens his mouth to speak, and then closes his mouth. Uh, yeah, that, that, uh, that makes a lot of sense. Um. Oh, does it? Yeah, we've, um, th there's just been a, a little bit of, of trouble. It's, it's, it's nothing for you to worry about. Well, I can hardly call ahead then, couldn't I? <laughs> Again, he opens his mouth and then closes it, and he's just like, yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> so what exactly is going on? Um, there's, there's been a situation, and, uh, we're, we're trying to piece together what's happened, but so far it's kind of difficult to tell. And uh, he kind of rubs the neck, the back of his neck, uh, oh, do you, you know, in that little tired, awkward way. Do you mean how uh, the body is missing? And he kind of pauses. Uh, that's one of them, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, I can guess. Also, hmm? do, do you, uh, sorry to interrupt. Oh. Do you want to make a perception or investigation check? by the way. Yes, please. Um, uh, because now you are standing face to face with uh, Pappy. Yes. Uh, I'm going to do investigation because it's a higher mod. Oh, no. <laughs> I got a seven. You got a seven? Uh-huh. Roll it again. Okay. Please. Okay. Uh, that's uh, 15. All right, good. That works. Uh, me, you're standing right in front of them. <laughs> I know. Um, no, but the reason I say this is because, as he, uh, as he reaches back and, and rubs at his neck, uh, you notice that uh, with uh, both of his hands, he isn't wearing any of his rings, and uh. specifically, the hand that he's using is right has a dark ring around its pinky. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As it did the, the night when he... Um, yes. Yeah. Thought so. Anyway. <laughs> mm. um, so we're just uh, cleaning up right now. There's a... It's, it's kind of a mess. Mm-hmm. It's probably best we don't get into it. Actually, let's. Um, <laughs> he's going to start walking towards the inn. Uh, wait, no. I, we couldn't possibly have you try and help again. Why not? You know, with, it's what I do. Well, I, I mean, we appreciate it, but it, it's it's something we, we can handle. It's quite all right. Mm. I don't think so. Your line's cut. Well, that, that doesn't sound I like mean, handling it. And the body's well, gone. I mean, oh my. If you can't even keep a dead man in the ground. Well, it's it's not like anything. He actually looks a little irritated. <laughs> like, oh, no, he's going to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one. That one I wasn't expecting. I expected something, but not that. <laughs> Mm. Hmm. Oh, by the way, there's a killer on the loose. The what? <laughs> he, just, he just kind of jumps up and his hat kind of shifts a little and he's like, what? <laughs> yes, that is uh, actually uh, why, specifically, we were trying to call you. Um... Uh, you all might be in, uh, well, uh, in, uh, lethal danger, really. You know, uh, come on. <laughs> and now he's leading the way a little, like, all right, yeah, let's go to the inn then. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, you guys were, like, halfway walking there, and now he's like, no, let's go the rest of the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, so he gets up there. And, uh, well, because they're like little steps going up to the inn. Mm -hmm. And um, he opens the door and ushers you inside. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you step in, uh, it's it's a lot different than when you were last here. Uh, mm -hmm. The place is a mess. Mm -hmm. um, the, the pictures that were on the wall, like a couple of them have fallen uh, and cracked. Uh, tables and chairs are everywhere. Um, a couple of the bottles in the uh, in, in at the bar are mm -hmm. also shattered. Uh, this mm -hmm. it, it looks like the place was ransacked. Oh boy! Um, and uh, as you had suspected, the phone that is uh, that is on the uh, bar counter, uh, yeah, it looks like the line has been cut. And in mm -hmm. fact, we have somebody looking at it right now. It's Ruffles. They've got question marks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you two seen, um, let's see, uh, Emmer, um, around in the past day? Uh, uh, sorry, I'm laughing because, um, Pappy kind of just, he, he kind of bites his lip and he's like, uh, and then you kind of hear more crashing sounds from upstairs. <laughs> All right, I'm going to assume that's a yes. Well, who's fighting who? What's what are the sides here? Uh, there's there's no fighting. He's just very frustrated. You kind of just hear an exasperated yell from upstairs. Hmm. Well, I've but... been trying to calm him down, but uh, he's, it seems he found that the body's gone. And, yeah. Well. Um, he brought somebody with him, too. Uh, they're... I think they're all right. Uh, actually, I've been trying to help in the kitchen a little. Uh, oh, that's... that's been fine. But, uh, since Ruffles is taking care of the... the cleaning, mm. uh, we need someone to help with cooking. So, did Emmer cause all this? Uh, oh, no, no. Um, <laughs> Uh, thank, thank goodness. Uh, what um, it, no. What is it then? Uh, 
Well, that's just it. We were out on tour, all of us. And then when we got back, all of this had happened. Uh, now, no, the entire inn isn't a mess. Uh, it's only this and... Uh, let and me guess, let me guess. Annie's room. And he gives this look. How did you know? A little bird, he told me. What kind of bird? And he kind of actually looks a little serious now. Well, first off, I mean, really, who else would it be? Um, but secondly, uh, I found something that I think belonged uh, to Annie. And um, he at first looks uh, a, a little surprised and then like a little like, oh, that's nice. And then it's like, oh, wait. And now he just kind of looks a, a bit neutral again, but he's kind of looking away. Might have dropped it on their way out. You, uh, you could say. You, uh, well, you wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. See, uh, Annie, Annie left, uh, a few weeks ago, oh. actually. Um, she was growing more and more quiet, and I, I didn't know what to say. None of us did, really. We tried. We tried to figure out what was wrong, but she wouldn't talk to us. I mean... <laughs> You know it was wrong. Well, well, we know what happened, but we didn't know how she was after. Hmm. So, and so one day, we all got up for, for breakfast, and she didn't show up at the table. So we went to check, and check the grounds, check the theater. She was gone. Well, she was spotted yesterday. Yesterday? Really? Yes. Sammy and Arada. She alright? She is intact. Uh, I don't like how that sounds. <laughs> As She's intact, me. I, uh. <laughs> I, can't, I can't speak for her mental state. Um, but, True. um, she seems hale enough. Um, uh, Sammy and Arata um, saw her at um, Laffy's shop. In Laffy's shop? But she left, so she's not there anymore, and we don't know. We thought she might have been coming here, but it doesn't seem that way, if you haven't seen her. No. I guess not. She hasn't returned. Hmm. I'm real worried about her. Mm-hmm. <sighs> hmm. But really, most of it's uh, just collateral damage. So we can get things fixed up uh, uh, once Terry and Kiki are back from the uh, Shopping. Mm hmm May I see the room? Uh, Annie's room? Yes. Uh, and he, he looks kind of skeptical, but then just goes, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but just for a moment, you gotta clean up anyways. Uh, so <laughs> he leads you upstairs. <laughs> um. And, uh... <clears throat> the professor just shakes his head, contaminating the crime scene. Contaminating <laughs> the crime scene? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh, I will take, um, your investigation from before, mm. actually. Um, and you notice, though, that as you walk, 
across the first floor and then going up the stairs and to the second floor, uh, there seem to be these strange uh, slash marks that are um, like either on the chairs or the, the table uh, on some of the banister mm -hmm. as you go up the stairs. Mm -hmm. And when you get to the second floor, there seem to be a couple on the walls as you make your way to Annie's room. Uh, it is the only door that is open right now. Um, and this place is even more of a mess than the first floor. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, the, the pillows of the beds have been torn to shreds. Uh, things are knocked over everywhere. Uh, like a lamp had fallen down. Mm -hmm. uh, a bunch of uh, posters are just in pieces. Mm -hmm. Just, it's a real mess. Hmm. I, you said that there was a killer. Oh, yes. I don't think. You don't think. Oh, of course I do. But, but why? I'm not sure yet. <sighs> I don't know either. And uh, he kind of steps into the center of the room and just looks about. And you can tell he kind of just has this lost, but also just sad look on his face. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. 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 Uh. Pappy. <laughs> huh? Yes. Why? For what? Six years. Why did you care for the body of a man that you barely knew? Well, I didn't barely know him. He helped start the trip, along with me and, and Ruffles and, and Silly. I just didn't know a lot about his personal life, is all. Huh. So, and he kind of narrows his eyes. So what does that have to do with this? Well, the body did go missing. Somebody had to dig it up. What? You thought it was this killer? Maybe. Maybe, or... Or you. Me? Why would I do that? Your goal was to bring him back. Wasn't it? Well, yes. But I realized that that might not have aligned with everyone else. So, uh, your friend, Seeker, uh, came to visit. And, uh, he and Emma will, they, uh, asked some final questions, and uh, we put him to rest. Or so we thought. Then this happened. And he, he kind of just gestures to outside, uh, like, oh yeah, that's gone. Uh. Right. Hmm. Well, it might be, it might be just as well that you cast Gentle Repose so many times, because if if he's been revived, at least he'll be all in one piece. You don't... You don't think that they would do that, they? I don't know what else they would want with the, with the body. And he kind of just pales a bit in thinking about it, like, Oh, yeah, I mean, you're not wrong, who? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if I really want to think about it. Hmm. <laughs> Um, can I, like, roll to investigate the room? Uh, yes, I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> oh, very good. All right. All right, okay. I got a six. Okay. I got a six. 
You got a six? Well, I mean, the place is freaking trashed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, are you making it, like, not totally obvious, but are you kind of making a point to look around and look at stuff? I mean, yes. Good. He's not Roll being... it again. Okay, he's not being sneaky <laughs> Because Pappy's it. technically going to help you. He okay. sees you looking around and he goes... I don't know what he's looking for, but I'll help out. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's much better. A 19. Good. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, damn, the dice really went, we're not going to have a story. And I'm like, bitch, I... <laughs> so, uh, uh... So, you kind of poke through all the, uh... All of the stuff. Um... It doesn't really look like there's a lot to see. Mm. Um, you hadn't actually been in this room, though, and as you look about, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. you, you push on the wall and you remember the secret door. Yeah. Um, you also see the, uh, um, the, the stuff had been knocked over from the, the shelves in the dresser. You mm -hmm. see a couple of trophies. Um, the lamp is just... Lying sadly on the floor. Um, but then you notice that there is a closet, yes. So you take a look through there. Um, you see a couple different outfits hung up. Um, but as you uh, step in a little closer, you feel the floorboard. It feels uneven. Hmm. Um, I think he's going to see if he can pry it up, maybe? Yeah. Um, you can do that, and Pappy will help you, too. You don't have to roll for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's kind of like, uh, uh? <laughs> mm. Um. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> so as you, uh, lift the board up, uh, it's just a, a very small space. Um, it seems like it's just large enough to fit uh, you know, maybe like a book or something. <laughs> nice. Um, but what you uh, see there is a very small key. Uh, hmm. Well, he's uh, gonna, he's going to take that out. A key? I don't think we have a lock that small. Hmm. Maybe it went to that music box that got destroyed. Oh, the, the music box. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was just a wind-up one. I don't think it had a key. Maybe. Maybe not. Um. <laughs> Do you want to read around in the space a little more? Yeah. Um, so you kind of root around in there. Uh, you realize that even though the board that you moved, uh, it only has enough space for a certain amount of stuff, as you reach in and kind of shimmy around, you can actually lift up four boards. Mm. Uh, and when you start pushing those aside, there's actually a much larger space. Uh, there isn't anything in there Except, wait, what's that? Mm. It looks like a letter? Yep, he uh, picks that up. Uh, you pick it up, and... Uh, and uh, it... It... Um, it doesn't say anything on the front. You have to open it, I guess. Um, and when you do, you don't recognize the handwriting mm -hmm. but when you start reading it you recognize who it's from mm -hmm. and it's from Bevan uh -huh. um, and you, you kind of look at it for a moment and I'd like to say that it probably clicks for you uh, especially with the info that you got from Arata Mm -hmm. you suddenly realize 
maybe Annie did come back mm -hmm. to stash the letters here, mm -hmm. but now they're gone again. Mm. You wonder why that is. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Uh, what is it? Uh, Pappy hasn't read the letter. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, he's going to close it back up. Um, and uh, <laughs> he's going to pocket it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but what was it? Uh, uh, is, it was a, is everything okay? It was a letter. Um, a letter? Was it from her? Pe mm. And then he stops. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. What do you know about Annie's parents? Are they still trying to reach her? I was hoping they would. They, they sent letters from time to time, but uh, nothing very recent. Hmm. Recent, as in past months, past years? <sighs> and he, he kind of just sighs. Uh, he, he just, he kind of looks just tired. <laughs> Alright, years then. Um. <laughs> uh. Gosh. <sighs> um, well, I don't think there's anything else here. I just, I just want to know if she's all right. Yeah, so do I. Well, I mean, like I said, I was spotted yesterday. But don't know, don't know where she, where she would be now. Um. Uh. <laughs> you know that. Uh. Yeah. Um. He he does have one question. Uh huh. Um. Uh. He. He looks at Pappy and says, um, why, why, why would Annie think that shooting Bevan would be a good idea? I, I don't know what to tell you. He shakes his head and just looks confused and concerned. It's not something... Uh, I mean, well, we all were involved in each other's act, if you will. Mm -hmm. You know, to help each other. But... So she would have the skill, but... Emma was not one to Oh. No. I'm not asking how she could do it. I'm asking why on earth she would shoot another member of her troop. Why she would kill another member of her troop. Specifically, Bevan. Get rid of her. Yes, yes. That's, that's... I could absolutely see a kid doing that. But murder? That's... That's, that's... It's a bit much. And that also concerns me. And I tried to talk to her, but she just... She refused. She talked to anybody else? No. <sighs> what do you know about the Pinky Promise? The, the what? 
The pinky promise. It's... It's kind of more of a... Isn't it more of a, a thing that... Well, I know toons do that. And I know no, small no. children can too. The specific... The specific pinky promise that Laffy Just had. La that Laffy made. I, mm -hmm. I don't know about. You don't? And he, he sweats. Can I roll insight? <laughs> no, you don't, you don't even gotta. He actually kind of looks a little... <laughs> It's written all over his face that it seems he's rather caught in a corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, you notice that he occasionally is glancing at his hand. Uh <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oops. That's right. I know about that. Why hide it? I... It's something that had to be done. We couldn't afford to have her get in trouble. For pushing another child? It's... It isn't just that. Did she do something else? No. Alright. It's just... You could have passed it off as a... As an accident. As a mistake. Yes. But... Well, what else was at stake? What do you think was at stake? And, uh, you, you wanna... I don't know, you could either roll investigation or insight with that. Um, hmm. Uh, what's better? What is my insight? It's... Oh, boo. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do investigation. Thank you. <laughs> uh... Good thing I did. That's a 12. Yeah, that's obvious enough. Um, and uh, when he says this, though, you kind of realize, oh, oh, well, now he's talking about Gilbert again. What? I... I couldn't... I don't know... What, did she if know was... about that, too? No. No one was supposed to know about that. All right. And in fact, if if we had a police investigation, they would have found that. And and I don't know if it was... I, I don't know if it's legal. <laughs> he has this look like... Uh. <sighs> I mean, forget about the morals. I just don't know. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, it, there was just, it was too much. We couldn't have a reputation and any of us be separated. Well, and <laughs> he looks even more guilty. Yeah, so, so you made, so you made, so you made Laffy promise to take the fall. And he did. And then you hired Mick's plant to, I suppose, find Bevan again and also, uh, what, punish Laffy even further? Do you hate the man? No. He, he helped us build this too. I, I knew that I could trust him. And you, it, you, I didn't mean for it to go this far. I didn't hire that detective. What? Maya did. That wasn't my choice. And as soon as I figured out that... That she got... She got a... She got a detective involved. I was sweating bullets. I thought we were going to be able to find... Find Bevan ourselves, but... Then it got even more complicated. I didn't mean for Laffy to... Suffer. You know he didn't know about didn't. Pinky promises. Never made. He, he kind of gives this look. He didn't know. 
Never made one. Didn't know. Ah, uh, I mean, it's not like you just make one out of the blue. Uh, a willy-nilly. I mean, but... you do if you don't understand the context. But, but he's a tune. That's something that most tunes know about. I mean, I know about and I... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he is completely tuned. How can you tell? So, then you think he's like... And he, he stops. He doesn't continue. Yeah. Maybe. But I don't even think it matters. What matters is you've doomed him. I... I do... Well, if he didn't know, and, and I'm... And I'm real, that the effect shouldn't be... Mm. And I didn't expect him to break it. Mmm... Nope. Nope, nope. See? You okay? Oh, no. He's... He... Is he dead? Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? I mean, it seems like he's close, from what Sammy and Arata told me. And he actually, he looks shocked. I, I didn't, I, and he actually looks a little distressed. I, I didn't mean for, and I, and he actually looks at his hand again. He didn't say anything. He didn't come back. I didn't, uh, I, what do you I gotta think? see him. What do you think happened there to your finger? Hmm? You just thought you well, just I've... thought you got a funny rash on your pinky for no reason? Well, I know what it was from. I figured it out the moment it appeared. But yeah. I didn't know. You didn't think there'd be something else going on on the other side? I On the tune side? I I didn't think there was anything else. I, there wasn't... I didn't think it would be that bad. Because I'm... And then he kind of just trails off. Let me guess, you're not human either. No. How do you think I, I've lived this long? He looks up at that and squints. What do you mean, this long? Uh, I'm not exactly the sturdiest type. Uh, and I'm kind of getting on in years. But, but I, I'm still pretty spry. And it's just because I'm not... I'm not entirely real. Hmm. See, I, I didn't think there was a problem. Well, that makes several cause... of you now. What? Man, how many, how many half tunes are there? And all of you just, just not talking about it. Well, it's not exactly something to talk about. <laughs> well, no, but, uh, why on... It's not like it's a... It's not like it's shameful to have a mixed heritage. Well, no, it's... Well... <laughs> you want to roll insight on that? Yeah! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I want to... I want to reiterate that, um... I want to remind everyone that the professor as of yet, does not know about the sort of, uh, like, oh my god, that's a nat 20, race problems Holy shit! between Toon and Real Kind. He doesn't Bruh. know. He doesn't Bruh. know. Can't believe they're learning this now. Yep, but he got a nat 20, so holy cow. Holy shit. Uh, getting a lesson. It is, um, abundantly clear to you that when you say this, he goes to agree 
but his face and body language say otherwise. In fact, you get the understanding right now that maybe it's not for for some, but I guess perhaps for his family in particular, and maybe others, that it is a bad thing. Uh, the professor sort of like, he leans back a little bit, just sort of backing off a bit, you know, just like, okay, um, raises his eyebrows. All right, maybe not. Uh, it, uh, and then you hear a voice from outside. Professor! Oh. <laughs> Is everything okay? Uh, You're taking a long time. <laughs> what is the? Where is this coming from? Does this sound like it's coming from inside the inn? No, it's outside. <laughs> like you guys are near a window. <laughs> oh God! He just, he just, he just closes his eyes <laughs> and like rubs his temples. Just like, oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Well. Um. Children. Oh, is it that child that keeps coming around? Um. Both of them, yes. Both, both of them. Um, but only one of them shows up. I don't know. I think they're twins. <laughs> Maybe they. Claim, I guess that would explain it. They claim to have the same name, which is odd. But whatever. <laughs> <sighs> well, all right. Okay. All right. Um. Look. Just, if there's background here that I need to know, fill me in now, because I did, I did just arrive on this planet, like, I don't know, two months ago, I don't know, I don't even know who rules this country. I, he, and he kind of blinks a few times. You're an alien? Yes. Ah. Uh, Not that it matters. You know, that explains a lot of things. <laughs> It does. It does. It does. Like how it does. I, like how everyone else seems to know that what is there a feud there, Be between tune kind and real kind? What is it? No, a kind of. Oh, uh, it's kind of complicated. <laughs> it's. Oh, it's very complicated. Xenophobia, some sort of it, superiority inferiority complex. Uh, well, you see, there there was this train, <laughs> and what? then he, you hear the you hear the voice outside again. Uh, hey, I can read. What? I can read the book. What? I can. I said I can read the book! The book! It's important! Now? The, the book? What, what are they talking about? Oh, they, uh, they found something that... They found something that might belong to Annie, too. Now? Oh. Yes, now! It's, it's exciting! Excite. I have a question. Do they have the book, or does he have the book? Uh, uh, <laughs> um, I thought you gave it back to her, so... <laughs> that's okay, we'll go but, with that. We'll go with that. That, okay. makes the most, that makes the most sense. That's, that's, yeah. that's acceptable. Um, yes. <laughs> um, just stay there, I'll come and get you. Okay. <sighs> He just, he just kind of gives Pappy, like, a tired look. Just like... Uh. <laughs> hey, um, before you go. Mm. Once we get everything, uh, fixed and repaired here. I can fill you in on stuff, alright? I understand how hard it is to adjust to different, uh, cultures. <laughs> so... I appreciate that. Thank you. 
and he kind of just gives this wry smile like, man, yeah, it's been a long day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> both of us, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh... But I'd say that the two of you kind of just head downstairs. Uh, yeah. Ruffles is still wrangling with the telephone. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but otherwise, uh, uh, <laughs> you have the two girls inside the inn now. Uh, oh, but they came down on And their now own. there is something, uh, uh-huh. something not very good. Uh, Ruffles actually looks a little worried, but doesn't do anything to stop the two girls who uh, are both holding the book, and they are kind of, they're fighting over this book. Uh, I got to read it to the professor. No, it's not something you should read. Uh, hold on. And, uh, Hang on now. Don't, don't, don't tear it. Uh, we're not going to tear it, but better read it. No, it's private. You're not supposed to read it. Well, let's talk about it first. Um, and, but, um, as you approach the two to talk about it, um, Maggie is able to successfully pull it away from Margie. Uh, mm-hmm. uh Margie falls to the ground. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just a little, oof, you know. Yeah. But, uh, as, as this happens, um, you, something that you hadn't noticed before, um, Margie was wearing a necklace. Uh, it just seemed to have kind of a rock attached to it. Mm-hmm. Um, but that falls off. And when that happens... Dang, Navit! Um, <laughs> uh, uh-huh. You see... Uh, you see Margie's form shift a uh-huh. bit. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, no. And, uh... <laughs> and you see them kind of look more tune rather than real um, yeah. mm-hmm. it still looks like um margie kind of uh-huh. but um it certainly looks more tunish and slightly different color scheme mm. uh oh uh-oh um hello um uh, <laughs> welcome home <laughs> What? <laughs> Welcome home. Well, oh, oh, fuck off with that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, in fact, this uh form changes completely. Um, uh, yes, this is Annie now, and mm-hmm. uh, she scrambles and grabs the necklace. What? Did you come here to just rub salt in the wound? As uh, she gets to her feet. I mean, the two of you are trying to read my diary, for fuck's sakes. No, are you kidding? We're trying to make sure you're all right. Did you know there's a killer I'm... on the loose? Yes, I'm fine. What do you think I've been doing? I honestly don't know. Um, the, the book? Yes, the book. Of course the book would say it. The book has all of my thoughts in it. Hey, um, um... Oh, don't be mean. Look, I'm not trying to be mean. God knows I can't be mean. Um, this one. Alright, let's everyone take a deep breath and just calm down for a minute and we can talk. Ha. So you want to talk too? You think I told the truth anything? You think I'm going to tell you anything? Um, I... I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, kid. I, uh, man. And, uh, Maggie looks a little tearful. No, no, kid. I, no. Listen, uh, um, and <laughs> she, she looks kind of like, uh, <laughs> why don't we all take this outside or something? Right? I, I didn't mean to be mad at you, well, I mean, I didn't mean to yell at you, uh, I, it's just, you shouldn't be reading somebody's diary, okay? I, I didn't know. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess, uh, 
but and um, she she had kind of knelt down a little to talk, but as she stands back up, uh, Appy uh, approaches. Are what are you doing here? Oh, um, nothing. Uh, uh, well, why do you want to know anyway? I was worried about you, but why? You were all worried about me. Somebody ran. Why did you just leave? Place? Uh, this, the place, uh... I mean, you know this, you heard noises. Although, maybe that was just Emma, I suppose. I, I know what it is. And, uh, <laughs> she, <laughs> Maggie opens the book and <laughs> flips oh. to a particular page. <laughs> hang on now, hang on now. Um, I um, think... <laughs> no, a kid, I, ugh. And she, she, she actually is really frustrated. Uh, she storms out of the place. Oh, Ma wait, no, come back. Maggie. I, but it's right here. Uh, somebody with, with pink hair? Yes, yes. Uh. <sighs> um, Pappy is just kind of left standing there. Uh, Roxy has left the building. Uh, yeah. Maggie just has this book open. Mm -hmm. uh. Ah. Um. Yes, yes. Pink hair, Nakabe Nakai, the killer. Um, no, not killer. It says hunter. Hunter? And, uh huh. And, uh, she did. Uh, it says that. Uh, and she is attempting to read. Uh, you realize, though, that as you are trying to read along with her, mm -hmm. it is written in a language that you don't recognize. Oh, good grief. I mean, you can make an intelligence check to at least try to identify what language. Yeah, I, I have a guess. Um, who knows if that guess means anything? Um, I mean... Let's see. Uh, what was I rolling again? Uh, just maybe intelligence or intelligence. history. Okay. Um, uh, well, history is much better, so I'm going <laughs> to... Uh, okay. 13, then. Um, so you don't know the language all that well, you know, to, like, to be proficient in it. Mm -hmm. But you do recognize the particular characters and shapes as Sylvan. Oh. Um, and you were kind of surprised when Maggie continues reading. Mm -hmm. Um, that man came back again. I know that... Oh, snap, this is taking too long. Can you help me read? And, uh... <laughs> and, uh, you don't hear any response. But as she turns back to, uh, the book, mm -hmm. um, you notice... The reading is completely different now. That man came back again. I know he is a hunter of the Fae. I can tell by the chain he wears around his neck. Is he looking for me? I could not have been found out right now, but I, I've been so careful. That's what this one says. Hmm. Uh, they flip to another page. I, I'm worried for Bevan. It seems that they are a target. I heard from the last one in. Ugh. That man. I don't trust him. Well, that's true. Bevan is a target. Um. But the best one's in the end. And uh, she flips to the, the end of the book. <sighs> or at least to the last written page. Mm-hmm. It says, I'm going to protect Bevan no matter what. They are important to the troop after all. Maybe, maybe if I could help them, I will be accepted again. This is the right thing to do. I know it. Is there a date on that page? Um, 
it um I think it's from a couple weeks ago. I'm still learning to read the dates. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Wick, would this be before or after um the events of Virtuosus Flourish? Oh, it's it's uh it's definitely after. After, after. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Well, hmm. But that sounded nice, right? They want to protect someone. Yeah. Well. Thank you, Maggie. Um. Um. You're welcome. And <laughs> she gives a smile. Yeah, he looks. He. He looks very conflicted because. Um, yeah, that, I mean that was that was that was both good and bad. Um, uh, ah, man, um, he's he's going to um, uh, go to the door to see if uh, if Roxy is still within sight. Um, you don't have far to go. You go through the door. And you look left and you look right and just around the corner of the building, you can kind of see a little tuft of hair, purple hair. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like she's just hiding out right there. Mm -hmm. I have something for you from, from Amaryllis. Really? What the hell did she want to give me? I don't know. I didn't look at it. Um, All and evidence actually, to the as contrary, have... I'm not a snoop. Well, actually, now that I think <laughs> about it. Uh, this this uh, gets actually a little chuckle at her. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can tell. Who else would go into Pappy's shed and not know that stuff? Hmm. <laughs> um, and... You, you kind of, you have rounded the corner, and she's right there. She's just kind of sitting mm -hmm. with her knees to her chest. So what is it? I really What could don't... you possibly give? I don't know. He takes it, he takes it out of his pocket, and it's in a bag, uh, and he hands it to, uh, he hands it to Annie. Uh, she, un, uh, she, she takes it out, and, um, you both see that it is the music box from before. It has now been carefully glued back together. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh. And I think I have the missing part, too. Take a look, um, I don't know, on the bottom, on the inside. I'm not sure how that one opens. Um, it's you should be... on the side. It's fine. Yeah, you should you be... You have the key? Um, yeah, I have the key, and I also have the, um... Uh, the real. The, the real? The, um... But this one already, and she opens the box, it actually starts playing a little. You recognize the tune, but, uh, her face kind of scrunches up. That's, it's not mine. Bev's song. Oh. That's odd. It's not odd at all. What? I'm surprised really gave this back. She's the one that took it from me, you know. Um... It's supposed to be mine. And, uh, she actually takes out, uh, she stops it and takes out the, uh, the current reel. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, he, uh, takes the, he takes the other one from his pocket and hands it over. Where did you find this? I've, well, yeah, I've, I've been looking for it. Um... No, she places it in in its rightful spot. Uh I know somebody who might be a bit of a bit of a pit pop pickpocket. Um probably didn't know what they were taking in this case. Yeah, I guess. But um as it clicks into place and she winds it a little bit, you hear a different melody. One that you don't know. Mm -hmm. But as it plays, she kind of has this nostalgic and yet bittersweet look. Yeah, I've been looking for that. 
Oh, say that again. You cut out. Uh, she's got uh, nostalgic a, a, look on her face. And then... uh, it's a little bittersweet, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, uh, but now <laughs> Maggie has uh, followed. Um, I'm sorry. Here's your book back. Oh. Thanks. It's it's okay. I just hope you didn't read all of it. And uh, <laughs> she she takes it and kind of just stashes it away. For what it's worth, um, they only showed us three pages. That's that's good. That'd be really embarrassing. <laughs> so this is all you wanted to give. Um, thanks. I guess. Well, it's 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 for my Marillis, not not for me, but you're welcome. Yeah, I just maybe this is your way of saying sorry. Probably, considering the conversation I had with her. <laughs> you talked to her. Yes, uh, we ran into each other, and um, uh. I think we, we both, uh, got under each other's skin a little bit, and, um, uh, but she, she seemed to realize that, um, she realized that she had, um, that she, she had, uh, she had done something that, uh, she had not intended. She, she, she said that she ended up being like, uh, that is, raising you and Bevan like her parents raised her, and she hated her parents. It, she didn't mean to, but. Well, that makes two of us. Yes, it, it happens. Happen a lot? Huh? Does it happen a lot? Does what happen a lot? Hating your parents. <laughs> uh. Depends. Seems to be a trend. <laughs> Seems to be. I. 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 Why do you think I. Never mind. Now it's stupid. No, I mean, she. I know you ran away from yours. She said that. Yeah. I did. Mm-hmm. You don't want to know why. I know want to... Uh, sorry. I want to know lots of things. <laughs> It wasn't just them. It was mostly them, but it wasn't just them. Mm -hmm. I, I can't believe I'm saying this to you. I, she stops, and then she looks at Maggie. Uh, do you want to just go play in the grass or something? And Maggie just goes, okay. And <laughs> Maggie just wanders off. You can still see her, but now she's just kind of frolicking in the tall grass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to say this while she's here. God. That guy gives me the creeps. Uh. What? You don't see the thing that follows her all the time? No, I... I... Not all... I, I could... I have, listen, I have the ability to see it, but it's not easy. I know what it is. I know what it probably looks like, generally speaking. I know why you would find it creepy. Why then? Because it's a quarry. She, uh, she bursts out into laughter. Are you kidding? That's not a quarry. 
<laughs> what the heck is that anyway? <laughs> what? What is it then? It's... Oh, well, I mean, since you don't see it that much... It... It's... You, you really don't know? It's... It's a member of the Archfey. Oh. That's the kind of shit that... You know, it'll really mess you up. I'm afraid I don't know. I'm... I, uh, unfortunately, have less knowledge of the Fae than I would like. Yeah, well, I have more knowledge than I would like. Hmm. I'm... I'm half Fae. Mm-hmm. And... Well... Sometimes that's interesting to people, right? He tilts his head. I suppose. You better sit down. I might as well just tell my life story, right? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's good to... Sometimes it's good to talk it out. And he does sit down. And Wick, I realize it's, um... Yeah, I know. Yeah. We just have a little more time. Okay. <laughs> Me, panicking. Uh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get pretty quick through this. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, my parents, they, um, adopted me. And they, she put, she puts adopted in quotes. Ah, uh, huh. Which, I mean, look, adoption's great, but I started out in a forest, born out of a flower, hmm. and it was nice there. I liked it. It was quiet. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, there were guys like that. Uh, she's pointing, <laughs> referencing the archway. Uh -huh. It kind of scare you, but... They're also meant to protect, so I get it. Hmm. But, you know... Then they just happened to stumble on me, and... Guess I thought I was pretty neat, huh? He... I mean... Winces. They, uh... Well, they took me in, and... I mean, they were... They were nice. But... Mm. You know... They enrolled me in a school, too. Yeah. It, it was a boarding school. Ah. Uh, the best kind, that's when, he says sarcastically. That's when... <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean? Oh, just... Never mind. Personal experience. Well, that's when I realized they really didn't me. Is that place... This was a hellhole. Mm -hmm. It was just too much. I couldn't stand it. But, well, it just so happened one day that the troop came through. And, uh, well, I took one look and went, well, there's my chance, you know? <laughs> I could get away from it all. But... I made a mistake. Was... I... The mistake wasn't going with the troop. No, no, no. It's... I thought, well, I could just grab my stuff from back home and, and then meet up with them. Hmm. And then when I did... I... I... God. They replaced me. There was some other kid there. Like, like I was old nose, you know? Annie. Like, they didn't say anything. They didn't tell me. 
And so when I saw that, God, I couldn't have it happen again. I don't want to, I don't want to be alone anymore. What? Again? Did you, did, did your, did your parents have, uh, a younger sibling, perhaps? I don't, I don't care. <laughs> they didn't even care enough to talk to me. I, I mean, I didn't go in. I, I just, I just ran. Forget it. From? I went right to the troop. Just asked if I could join, and it was fine. It was fine. And then, and then Bev, it, it was, it was stupid now that I think about it, but I, it just it reminded you too much. I couldn't let it, I couldn't let it go. But I get it now. That that if that were me, that wouldn't be fair. I shouldn't have done what I did. Did you mean so, did you mean to go as far as you did? No. I just I wanted them out. I didn't want them gone, but I felt like, like I could only, ugh, man, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but, but that's why I, I was going to protect them. When I figured out this guy was after Bev, mm -hmm. I knew I had to do something. So... Well, we're working on protecting Bev, too. Would you like to work together? Listen, I appreciate your help, but I feel like, I feel like this is something I got to do on my own, you know? To kind of prove it to all of you. Hmm. Well, maybe just keep in touch. We want to make sure you're all right, too. Okay. Yeah, that, that'll at least work. Thank you. And, uh, she sniffles and she, she stands up as if, uh, you know, we're kind of done with the conversation. Yeah. But she does, uh, she, she does go into, she goes, she kind of flips her hair a little bit, mm -hmm. and it, you think that she's fixing it, but she actually, um, pulls out a piece of paper from it. Uh-huh. Here, I do have some contact info, so... Oh, thanks. That reminds me. Um, he pulls uh, Bev's letter out of his pocket. Did you, did you want this back? It it was just about the only thing left intact in there. Oh, oh God! I missed one. And uh, <laughs> she 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 takes it from you. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. Uh. Thanks. Yeah. She kind of just stashes it away. <laughs> you don't happen to have the others still? Uh. It might. Uh, might be useful to have them. The the ones that are uh, uh, not addressed to you, obviously you keep those. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> she she kind of just sweats. I mean, um, I, if they're gone, then they're gone. But <laughs> like, do I have to persuade you, or or is this a they're missing situation? <laughs> Uh, she she just kind of takes a couple steps back, uh, and then goes, uh, "I'll get them to you later." And she she does like that cartoon thing where you have like the, uh, when you're running really fast. 
Oh, man. Uh, he just shakes his head. All right. I think that's probably uh, <laughs> where we leave it. Yeah. More, more or less. And there, she's running away. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn. We really have to speed run that. Uh, oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll just say goodbye to the recording. Uh, yeah. Bye, everybody. Thank you for listening. Yes, we love you. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Stopping the recording. <laughs>